back uh, a little more flying coming underneath the cloud. We hope it's got some lift underneath it. Things are looking a little bit still two knots down. So coming in and looking around. Not, we're, traffic, not too far away from Cook Field. Down here off to our 10 o'clock. Come into the thermal. Get a little bit of an indication here. Oscar II is turning left. So it's getting towards the end of the day. Things are getting a little bit uh, weaker. Uh, we've got uh, Six Victor. This is Chuck Lorry coming in to join in this thermal. Oscar II, what's your Oscar 2 is not too far away from uh, Hook Field. I'd say we're about uh, two miles, or not Hook Field, um, <laughs> Wright Brothers. Uh, we're about uh, two miles to the southeast. Charlie, Charlie, we're just north of you. North of the, they call it north of the tank. The left of the tank going northeast bound. So that's um, another glider pilot that uh, is going to come over and join us in this thermal. He's flying a two-seater ASK-21. And... Well, that's for two. I'm just getting zero sync here. What do you get? That's uh, about the same. Um, I get uh, two up and uh, zero. bump there. You can kind of feel it in the glider. It kind of tosses it up some. You can see I'm getting four knots here. And there's our uh, friend Chuck with us. And what we're seeing is the thermals are a little bit choppy today. They are not quite as uh, put together as they you hope they are. But as we followed around, we looked for those parts of the rising air that's working better. We also look at other gliders like uh, Six Victor above us there. We know he's doing a little better. And you may wonder why we've got all those beeping sounds going on. Those are variometers. Those are giving us a audio indication of the air around us, what it's doing, going up or going down. And that lets you look outside the cockpit, which I'm doing right now, actually looking above the cockpit at uh, Six Victor in the thermal above me. And the other thing we were trying to do was keep that string that's up in front there, um, embedded by one of the right Wright brothers. And that helps keep us in a coordinated flight so that the nose of the glider is always pointing into the wind depending on the turn that we're making so that we're slicing through the air basically as efficiently as possible. Uh, gliders have um, large ailerons on them that create a lot of drag so when the aileron goes down to lift the wing that wing actually wants to go backwards and so the rudder is used to compensate for that and give you a straight strip stream flight. Uh, another place you'll actually see these are on fighter jets. Uh, they will use these same pieces of yarn, even though they go mock, uh, to help make sure they're doing a coordinated turn. And uh, that's how useful that piece of yarn has been, the yawstring, and was also one of the things that allowed the Wright brothers to actually finally get their plane up in the air uh, without crashing it because they had a situation that they termed wing dip. But what it actually was was the drag of their wing going, uh, being pulled down. Oscar 2 will follow 6 Victor. I'm right below you about 200 feet. And so now we're busy going off to another area. 
down below us. You can see over here is the Dayton Mall, and just past that is Dayton, and over there is uh, the Wright Pat Air Force Base. And um, that is the area that we fly in around here. So I pan over to Caesar Creek, and at the end of Caesar Creek there is uh, Caesar Creek Soaring Club, our home base. So, so far that'll be it for the little tour today as we go through this six knot down, hoping it gets a little better. And uh, enjoy the rest of our flight, so have a little fun today.